Hi guys, it's Rain the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 58 on SL exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're it, you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So they say that these three things, cities J, K, and L, are mutually independent. So we can actually um, multiply all of these out to figure out the combined loss. So x is equal to m of jt times m of k of t times m of l of t because they're independent. So that's equal to 1 minus 2t ta to the negative 3 times 1 minus 2t to the negative 2.5 times 1 minus 2t to the negative 4.5. What do we know about exponents is that if they have the same base, we can actually add them together. So this is going to be equal to 1 minus 2t to the negative 10. What's cool about moment generating function is that like you can find like let's say the expectation of x this is equal to the moment generating function the first derivative evaluated at zero and likewise if we're looking for the second one it's going to be equal to the second derivative evaluated at zero and lastly the e to the cubed which is what we're looking for is equal to the expected value of x cubed evaluated so that's second triple in a triple derivative setting it equal to zero. So taking the first derivative here, this is equal to negative 10, 1 minus 2t to the negative 11th power, and the chain here is going to be negative 2. The two negatives make up a positive here. The second one here, second derivative of x is equal to, same thing, in negative 11 times 10, 1 minus 2t, so negative 12 times 2. But then there's also another chain here, so that's going to be negative 2, but the two negatives make a positive here. And lastly, the third derivative here is going to be equal to 12 times negative 12 times 11 times 10 to the 1 minus 2t to the negative 13th power. 2, 2 times 2 is already 4 here. 2 times 2. But then we have the third chain here, so that's going to be 2 to the cube. Simplifying this down a little bit, 12 times 11 is 132. So 132 times 10 is going to be 1320. This Thing when I plug in 0, so the triple integral evaluated at 0 is going to be just 1, and 2 to the cube is just 8. And the reason why you want to try to do most of these before you type it into the calculator is because doing it by hand is a little bit faster. And this is equal to 10560, which is our answer E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!